I suppose we do a lot of work in housing and we are seeing a, a stronger, I suppose, market emerge for downsize housing. So people kind of with big houses who want to move out of their big house but still live within their community and also still live in a fairly spacious dwelling but just not as big as what they're used to or as difficult to maintain as what they're used to. So I think that's kind of an emerging growth sector in the country and I think it's something to be really um, embraced you might say or pushed forward because if we can get people to aspire to move on and not live in the same dwelling for their entire life and to be flexible about moving around, I think that that helps you know, society across many levels. Really interesting, we're doing a, a project, an infill project in a small sleepy village and we're finding that you know, 50 something percent of the people living there are all single. And it's, it's quite sad in some respects. Uh, it's going to change the, the, the type of unit that we're designing, uh, the type of community we're designing for. And I think the knock-on effects down along the line where it are worrying and how we look after you know, sheltered housing in the future with all these lone people that appear to be uh, coming through the system slowly. Uh, I think there's, there's uh, you know, people worry about the pension bomb, but I think we've got a, 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 a sole person bomb coming down the line as well where people are being um, diffused from their, you know, from their family base. They're having to live out in, out in the sticks. They have no support structure. Uh, I think our, you know, the architecture response to that is going to have to change. The changing demographics certainly are a big factor. They're a big factor for Ireland, they're a big factor for architecture and the construction sector. Uh, the growing population means there's an ongoing demand for education, uh, further educational facilities, primary, second level, third level uh, uh, institutions and accommodation and buildings, uh, a renovation, extension of existings, there is and will be a big demand going forward. Healthcare is another area. Not only have we an increasing population, but we have an increasing ageing population because the balance is changing a little bit and uh, people are living longer, etc. Particularly in the cities, the demographics have certainly shifted um, and there's a lot of demand for uh, housing which seems to be limited under our development plans uh, within the city. And uh, I suppose you know, the question mark really is around whether the local authorities can uh, see their way to flexing uh, those um, demands and those restrictions uh, so that we can deliver housing that is actually demanded and wanted uh, within, within society. People are getting older. Um, do older people want to be living in large houses in the countryside uh, when their kids are all living in New York and Australia and, 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 and moved away? Um, possibly um, sheltered housing or, or retirement villages close to amenities are, are the, the way forward. Um, it's not impacting on us, on us at the moment, but I do. It's something that that I certainly do uh, see happening um, over the next 10, 20 years. I'm surprised at the lack of it that's here, and particularly in the West, that there's the lack of that kind of development. Full stop. Um, so I'm kind of you. You would have thought there was some sort of pent up demand. There should be demand for that. Um, sort of development, but it's not something we've seen and we don't see a huge amount of on this side of the country. Neil McLaughlin did a really interesting piece in Venice two years ago about, about the study of, of, you know, how to design space for people with dementia. Um, and I think it's great that people are now discussing it in a, in a realistic way. Um, that's not just about, you know, making a kind of a bracket of, you know, kind of, you know, nursing homes as they used to be called, which which would cover a kind of a multitude. Now we're, we're actually designing for people's specific needs. Some of the, some of the best forward thinking models are actually currently operating in Japan, where they've gone away from the Western way of looking at it, where like every possible aid or assistance is provided to elderly people. They actually provide things like stair lifts and ramps, but they also provide stairs and they encourage the older people to use the stairs to keep their bodies fit. Whereas we're almost saying, okay, you're old, so therefore you should take a chairlift or you should take um, the, the ramp.